So let's continue our exploration of bash, shell, quoting, and escaping mechanism. But this time we are going to talk about something referred to as weak quoting. And it employs a syntax that uses the double quotes, like so. Okay. So let's start with, uh, we are going to use echo because that's a, a very nice way to, uh, to detect when the shell is actually trying to expand meta characters or not. So I'm going to try to do something like echo cop star, all right? And this is what comes on my screen because of my current working directory containing all of those folders starting with uh, the letters cop uppercase. So that makes it obvious that the shell expanded the globing expression cop star based on what was in the current working directory and then the, I have to say, um, printed on the screen uh, the value that were obtained. So cop 2512, 2513, 25, etc. So we want to prevent that, we want to neutralize the star character. So we already talked about doing how to do that, you know, in a previous video using the backslash. Well, I'm introducing here a new syntax that is a double quote. So if I surround my, um, a part of what I, uh, I sent to the bash shell as my command with double quotes, that means that I want to neutralize some of the meta character interpretation. And this is why it's also referred to as weak quoting. It's not, I, don't, I want to turn off completely meta a character interpretation. No, I want to turn off most of the meta characters interpretation by the shell. Okay, so some of the characters that are affected by this, obviously the, the star character that is used for globing, um, it's simpler to list what is uh, not affected than what is affected because a double quote, even for it's uh, it's called weak. Quoting, uh, it's still affecting most meta characters, the vast majority of meta characters. The only ones that are not affected are uh, the single quote, and the back quote actually, sorry. So don't confuse the back quote with the, the single quote like so, okay? So the back quote and the dollar. So these ones are not actually um, neutralized. So we can use them in a double quote expression without problem. So it's going to be a bit difficult to show examples without introducing things that we didn't talk about yet because we didn't talk about the back tick character here. Uh, we didn't talk about the, the dollar really that much yet. Uh, so let me just show you an example and you have to, to bear with me because it introduces things we didn't discuss in detail. But my username is an, a dollar user. Okay, so I'm using here something that is um, a way to get the value of a variable in the bash shell, and there is a default variable user that's going to tell us the username. Okay, so what I'm saying here is I want to echo on the screen um, my username is, and instead of just displaying dollar user, I want the shell to substitute uh this expression dollar user by the value of the variable user in the shell so right now i'm logged in as user tux so you can see that this is exactly what happened so that just illustrates the point that um even though the dollar sign is actually a meta character uh, it is not neutralized when present in double quote and the same will be true for the back tick i'm not going to illustrate that but just to be complete if i wanted to just display on the screen uh, my username is stored in the variable dollar user. Then I would like to keep the dollar because I want to show the shell syntax in my message, right? So I can backslash it. And that brings me to the next point. So there are, there are several symbols that are not, um, that are not losing their meta character meaning between double quotes. I mentioned the back tick that we are going to, to study very soon in an upcoming video. I mentioned the dollar that's going to be used when we, uh, essentially when we use um, shell variables. Uh, but there's another use for it that we'll talk about later when, when we talk about the back tick actually. And then there is a backslash. So it would be tempting to say, uh, based on the previous example, that the backslash is the third ca meta character that retains its meta character meaning when used in double quote. After all, this is exactly what happened. So let's try something like this. Uh, you need to learn 
to use the backslash symbol. Okay, so with the previous example, our hypothesis was okay, backslash is going to return its special meaning, which means that this should display something that says you need to learn to use the and then two spaces symbol. And no, it doesn't work. So this this is something that I wanted to draw your attention to. You have to be careful about this. Um, inside the double quote, yes, the back tick is going to keep its meta character meaning. So that's one meta character that is not affected by the, the double quote uh, neutralization. The dollar, same thing. But we cannot say that the backslash is in the same category. The only things that are going to be actually um, used as uh, example where the backslash is uh, a meta character are backslash dollar, backslash single quote, backslash double quote, backslash backslash. Okay, so these are the different uh, the different ver usage of the backslash meta character that are going to be actually uh, used as backslash being a meta character. But if I find a backslash symbol that is just by itself, okay, followed by uh, another character that is not a backslash itself, a double quote, a single quote, or a dollar, then it's going to not be interpreted as a meta character. Okay, so it's just not as simple as saying, you know, back tick, dollar, and backslash are not neutralized. No, it's back tick, dollar, and certain application of the backslash. All right, so this is going to allow you to, well, we have been playing with echo, of course, uh, so, but it's true for any command, okay? So if I wanted to do touch cop star, for example, well, I can double quote this stuff again, and I get actually the same result that we had in previous videos. Okay, so double quoting, also referred to as weak quoting, is very, very uh, often used when you are writing uh, writing shell. As a matter of fact, we are going to discuss later when we do scripting that um, in doubt, you should double quote almost everything. Uh, you should double quote expansion of variables and stuff like that just to avoid problems, but we'll get into more details on that later.